Hi darling, I'm half dressed, so I'm just standing behind here because today I thought we'd look at some of the autumn winter trends and think how can you take things from your own wardrobe to create an element of that trend if you look at it and you think there's something I love about what that concept is without always having to go out and buy something new. We love that, don't we? Yes. We want to buy into trends, but we want to shop an iron wardrobe. Yeah, we do. And we also want to choose ones that really suit us. So I'm gonna, I've picked the ones that I think everyone can wear. Red is everything, all right? And red is everything means head to toe red. Essentials, the coat. Dress, really old Zara. Pockets, love. This is the one essential thing in Dress Like a Crown, which is tights. Uh, because footwear can be tricky. I don't have red shoes. So at what stage do I stop the dress like a crown moment? And I think if you have the same color tights, you can then do any color shoe. That's the trick. So I got these little babies from Tavio. You don't want translucency of color, you want wham of color, especially wearing dresses. Makes footwear easier. You know, red is the color of the season, so would you do it with any other color? I think if you love red, you'll have lots of red in wardrobe, and it's just about layering the red like I did in that film. All right, the next one is Gothic Romance. Ooh. Now, I like the idea of that, because I think you can take that literally anywhere. You could think of the Adams Family, Morticia Adams. You could think of soft Karl Lagerfeld, goth rock. So I'm gonna merge together Morticia and a bit of a Chanel-inspired Powell moment and give you my idea of gothic romance. So I'm starting with a little collar. I'm just gonna show you that collar. This is one that I got from Cost many years ago. Really convenient when you've got a very fitted dress you want to wear over it and you don't have room for the bulk of the shirt underneath. And then I'm going to take two things that are really, really old. Okay, so when I'm building a look, starting with the basics, for me, goth is the chunky black boot. I know lots of you are fed up with seeing it, but I think you've got to buy into the chunky black boot because I think it changes up so much in a wardrobe and I'm just gonna loyally live by it for most of the winter. So if you always want me in a lovely, delicate dress, you have to kind of change the channel now. <laughs> a Ghani vintage dress that I got in a Fennec archive sale a few months ago, but I think it's about four-year-old Ghani. I like the idea of concept of layering, but I'm just gonna see if it's too much. To me, softly gothic, we could be layering a bit. Mm -hmm. You've got to have proportions right for the layering. So I'm doing that, like that. Oh, which I think there's an Edwardian goth to this moment. When I think of gothic, I think of Victoriana, but I think more of the silhouette of Edwardian. Oddly, so I think I'm getting that length of a silhouette. Yeah. And Molly is just about to bring over a bag, but I wanted to do a whole load of pearls. So I'm just gonna look at that first and just see if that's the direction I want to go. A lot of pearls hanging around and seeing if that was the look, mm. you know, like that. I think this is where the romantic era comes in. That is the romantic pearls. era. And I do sort of like that. I feel a bit schoolmistressy, <laughs> but something to do with it. And then I could even put a brooch up here. If I had a brooch, if somebody gave me this brooch necklace and it says fearless written in it. Yeah, I think she was Melanie Bond. Yeah, oh, Melanie. That's, Melanie, that's so sweet. I nearly want to have that as well. That's fabulous. Yeah, it is fabulous. I'm thinking there's something pearl and something else there. So, or the diamante but I just feel the need to put an emphasis at the front here like that. So mm. I'm gonna actually add that in. I think that one can do this with brooch. I've got old brooches that I sort of bought over the years. I used to have a bow company that I bought tons of these brooches in Portobello Market years ago when I was about 18. And I used to make um, hair bows with these. So I always collected them. I have a few left over, but they all cost, cost me a pound. My budget was a pound. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you can also do this with an earring, one earring. So that's the look to me. That I would be softly goth. I love those textures together, Trini. I think it's good. I think this texture has got that sort of slight taffeta texture to it. And I think when you're playing with black and it's not your best shade like with me, having the white colour, having a little bit of sparkle around your neckline really helps. Mm. And your cheeks, that colour is lovely. I've got on a little bit of wigs, which is that soft makeup. And then yeah. I've got on my eyes a tiny bit of faith. And in the corner, I put candlelight. And I put some candlelight here. And when I'm wearing black, I need makeup where I get a reflection back in mm. my skin because it can absorb the light from my face. So when I turn like that with candlelight, you'll just see that little glint. The glow, yeah. The glow! So I feel good in this. Yeah, 
Oh, I do feel good in this. This one's tick. Okay. Next. The next look I'm doing is Normcore 2.0. And this is really wearing what looks like it's just put together and thrown together when you might go to the shops kind of thing, but very personal as well. Or drop the kids off at school and then you're going yeah. to work out. But if you just look at it, it's sort of, that's workout gear, but the trainers are cool and she's done the layering and she's got a yeah. perfect white t-shirt with a cashmere jumper, then a hoodie, then a lovely cut jeans jacket. So it's not thrown together. It's quickly purposeful. going to the gym, it's purposeful. And then she's got a fantastic belt and a very specific jean, really long line jacket and a big pair of sunglasses. Mm. So okay. my equivalent of normcore is what I call chic weekend dressing. So when I want to do that, I will keep them to the basics, but it's all about the cut. So I'm going to do what I just wear at the weekend, which yeah. would be the kind of perfect cut navy jumper for me. All right, you know, I do love a good bit of navy. So I'm just going to take this Cos cashmere jumper from two years ago. I'm putting it over the white t-shirt like that. Nice. So really simple. Can I ask about the jeans as well? Where are the, they from? These are is Balmorant. I didn't want to do an all skinny. Yeah. And I didn't want to do a big wide leg. And then I'm putting over it uh, this men's, woman's kind of slouchy coat. This is from Dries Van Oten. And it's a deep navy, but it's the same tone as the jumper. Oh, it's like exactly that. the same. So it's sort of oversized. Yeah. I do quite like, even though I think, does it make my legs look shorter to have the um, rivets on the outside yeah. of the jean, but I like what that gives the jean. Mm. And I feel this is relaxed. And then if I had a bag, I might just literally do, even though I don't like the silver and the gold together, I want to mm. find a navy bag which has silver and I don't have one, so I could just have the slouchy, this is a great old Celine slouchy bag like that. Lovely fabrics, clean, no pattern, white at the neckline, um, just feeling that I don't feel dated Yes. in these basics. Um, and that slight oversizedness. So it's either really layering or a bit of an oversized jacket. And I'm better in an oversized coat than I am in an oversized mm. jacket. I don't know why. Can I ask about the shoes, Trini? Yeah. Why did you choose that colour? Because I think the obvious choice is to go with black. Yeah, it was go with black or navy. And I felt I just wanted to add. So if everything here was navy. I just wanted to add a little point of difference. So I've got navy socks and the shoes are cognac. And I wouldn't do navy shoes. This could also be a trend of the navy and black if I switched it out. Should yeah. we go on to navy and black Ooh, trend? Let's go. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to do black over everything. So I'm going to go back to navy jumper. <laughs> um, but the interesting thing about navy, just whilst we're here on a navy moment, is which navies go with each other because this is more um, a sort of brighter blue and that's yeah. a slightly um, muddier blue. So I'm going to go with the jumper that actually is this trend. I have a jumper which is navy and black. Perfect. Navy and black together. Yeah. Um, I need some trainers to make these elevate. Were those cos trousers this season? They are not in the summer. Uh, but they generally do this look. Um, and I'm yeah. just seeing now, you see, I don't know if this is too many blues together. So on camera, the top and the trousers look very different blues. Yeah, they are very different blues in real life as well. Yeah. And I think you've got to just choose your blue. The trend for me is when they're showing this, I mean, that's really a navy <laughs> necklace with a black outfit. <laughs> so I don't know if they're kind of grasping at straws here, mm -hmm. glamour, when they're thinking of trends. So I think when you wear black and navy together, even though this jumper is, is a black with a nearer Corbett blue, I prefer black and this colour navy. Yes. I just think it's softer. Yeah. So Where's I, the jumper from? This jumper, I have no idea. So I'm going to go for another jumper. I think those are much better. Much better. Okay, this is actually a very clever jumper. What I love about this jumper, <laughs> and I really wanted this jumper for ages, is that it's like that. Yeah. But then you're thinking, I'm really menopausal and hot. So you take off the sleeve and you just make a scarf around the neck. Oh my God. Or like, you know, when you're holding onto the tube and you're off. Oh. I mean, yeah, <laughs> aviation. <laughs> Let me show you my underarm hair. But isn't that a clever idea? Very clever. It's so, so genius. genius. It is genius. And it gives a beautiful shape to the shoulder. It is well. so genius. Yeah. And then I'm cold. Whoopsie. Oh. Goes back in. It goes back in. Bloody love that. But where's it so, from, Trini? This is from Tibby. This is a very old coat from Celine. 
I have to say, I looked for three seconds at Phoebe Filo, who designed this for Celine, yeah. at her new collection, and I nearly threw up with the price of everything. It was insane. But I do quite like navy and black in this depth of navy. Can you tell the difference on camera, Joanna? Yeah, I really can. And yeah. I think it's because it's not super blue. Yes. It's definitely a navy. Yeah, and I don't like that super blue with the black. No. So if you're doing navy and black, I just like the coolness. Yeah of the navy, it's not too bright. I like then, that. Yeah, and then the bag, I don't think I'll put navy over it. This is when I'll go for my chain mail black. So I might just get some texture in that. Yeah. I do like how you still kept the white by your face. Yeah. It is fresh and that's like a nod to just still being you. It is a nod and also I think it highlights that this is blue and not black. Yeah. By having it against the uh, white, you can see it better. Yeah. And then with this, I might just then, we can be chic, or I could just say, is this a red lip moment? Definitely a Swainy moment. I want that brightness of the tomato red for this look. My favorite look to wear with baby. And there you want the final look. I think it just brings it together. It does. Yeah. Trini, what was that other one? Bows everywhere. You think I'm really doing that? I can't do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> just having bows literally everywhere. Yeah, I'll put on the left. <laughs> I mean, what is that? That's when fashion just goes to another level, doesn't it? <laughs> this is also something new, but I just thought this actually works because what I love about this is there's a sharpness and a fashion to that look. Yes. A black top coat. It just feels it's like top cat top coat. So <laughs> let me just put a bit of lip on. At the moment, I feel slightly peaky blind as the undertaker. So I just need to make it a bit sexier. <laughs> I really do. So I'm just going to put some magician on my eyes. So I look purposeful in my makeup, like that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a pinky lip. So some schmuggy, which is a flush blush. And then over that, let's do some Dido. Whenever I'm tired, I love putting Dido sheer shimmer on my cheek and buffing it over whatever I've got on because it just brings this glow back to my cheek. She put the last bit there and bring that story to my eyes as well. Just transformation in two seconds. Okay. So transform the look, I need my belt here. And I just, I do love this because it's such a different way for me to wear a black coat. Yeah. And I think that it's so clever to have this bit here because coats with belts over usually never work you know they bulk up Jemima and the fact yes. that it's cut out there might be a bit windy on cold days but <laughs> as a look and feeling fashionable this yeah. to me I'll always feel is edgy whatever decade I'm in totally you still got that boxy element rather than it drawing you in exactly and yet there's a there's a wasted yeah. look going on where's everything from Trini so <laughs> this is from Camilla Mark which is a fantastic Australian brand and it's a design team and they just do very good tailoring. This is a shirt from me and M. Trousers are me and M. Boots are Zara. Great. So, yeah. And it feels, mm. you know, it's a bit of old and a bit of new. Yeah, I love a bit of a pinky makeup look with black. I know, it's, you it's know, really it's fresh. softer. And when you're doing it in the day, again, it's talking about having tones on your skin that give that joy and glow instead of absorbing all of the uh, energy of your face. Totally. Are we on to our last look? We're then? on to our last look and our last look literally I'm going to do with this. Okay. All right, so <laughs> it's the look of the metallic. So I could either just go full on crazy, but I think I'm just, my only metallic are these. Yep. So I could just put those on and I've done a nod to metallic like that. Getting into my feet <laughs> the best way possible and then Oh, this, yes. Love this. This is a little bag I got there. I don't put, actually, that's too busy. It, it, it's it, too yeah, busy it's together. Busy. So what we need to do, actually, we need to just hold it. Oh, yeah. There. I don't know if with the shoes, if it's too much. I feel they're fighting. Oh, I don't think they're fighting. I think the think belt's fighting. fighting more. With what? With, with the, bag. the bag. Yeah. I like the belt though, but... Yeah, I like the belt, but I could also have the belt so that I didn't do that with it. So if I'm having, it's a good little point this about what you do with a belt. So if the belt's like yes. that, then the bag can be a bit noisier. Yeah. So metallic, you could have a belt, you could have a bag, or you could have a shoe. Are they your shoes, Trini? 
I want my shoes. The cowboy boots. Now these are, <laughs> this is another way of designing. I'm going to do it with a dress, but I just want to put these on. This is really a bit mad. These are Lila's <laughs> I bought for her, but I, oh my, oh my God, I fit in them. <laughs> I fit in them. Let's just see this. It's very weird to do. I just don't know if I'd get away with wearing them literally like that. Oh, you would. Like that? Yeah. Yeah? So these are costs. Actually, it just does something. That's what's so fun about playing and looking at trends. Because I was thinking to myself, no way <laughs> would I tuck a black trouser into a silver cowboy boot. And yet, because the coat is going over it, yeah. like a dress, I like it. I feel like you can strut really well in them. I am strutting, aren't I? Yeah. Yes, that <laughs> works for me. So when you're looking at home and you're thinking about these things, just think of the little points that we brought out through this film. You know, when you're doing black and navy, how you do it. Something metallic could just be a plain block colour underneath. Navy with metallic is great. Grey is great with metallic. Silver um, or gold, whichever one. Mm, um, thank you. What are we doing next week? We are doing a confession time, proper confession time, the things I've bought so far. Okay, and I've just noticed your nails match the cowboy boots, oh so it's meant to be. Thanks, Julie. Bye, thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Molly.